Every person has a range of thoughts and feelings about their own appearance. These thoughts and feelings might relate to size, shape, skin colour, facial features, clothes or jewellery worn for religious reasons, physical disabilities and aids like prosthetics or wheelchairs. Body image is a broad term used to describe the complex relationship we have with the way we look. A positive body image supports mental health in childhood and beyond. When children have issues with body image, they are at risk of developing difficulties with their mood, self-esteem or eating. What influences the development of body image in children is um, a mixture of cultural influences and family influences. So what children are exposed to in the media as social ideals and also what they're exposed to in the family environment. So parents' ideas around body image and what they express verbally in the home can have a really profound impact on how children see themselves and how they develop. And then once we get into the schoolyard setting, we have the impact of peers on children and how they're talking to each other about how they feel about their bodies and what impacts um, there are in their own home environments. Positive body image means feeling good about ourselves and the way we look most of the time. So not everyone feels good about themselves all of the time, but when we look at it on a spectrum, we want to feel good about ourselves most of the time. The reason that this is important is because there are really close links between how we feel about the way we look and about how we feel about ourselves in general. So how we feel about the way we look can influence our self-worth and our sense of self-esteem. Schools play a really important role in the development of positive body image for children and this is because children spend a lot of time at school uh, in the company of their peers and also with their teachers who are important role models for them. Negative body image is a pervasive dissatisfaction with the way we feel about how we look. So this means that a lot of the time we're feeling really unhappy, we're probably comparing ourselves with other people and we've probably got a lot of negative internal dialogue going on with ourselves about how we think we look. There are a lot of risk factors associated with this and negative body image can lead to depression, anxiety, low self-worth um, and in some cases to eating disorders. It's important if you notice these warning signs to work within the guidelines of the school policies to assist the parents to seek appropriate health care. The first step might be supporting the family to have a consultation with their GP and it may be that the GP refers on to a psychologist. So some strategies that teachers can use in their class to promote positive body image include things like um, the concepts we teach currently in social and emotional learning programs, like building resilience and coping skills. Uh, also encouraging students to be critical and analyse some of the images they'll see in the media um, and getting them to think about the messages behind advertising. Teachers can also talk with students about what it feels like to be healthy rather than what it looks like and reminding them that being physically active and exercising should be about fun and not about weight loss. For schools to promote a positive body image at a whole school level, it's really important that schools have clear policies and procedures so that everybody has a shared understanding about positive body image messaging for staff, children and for families. Schools should promote a welcoming environment, one that acknowledges diversity of appearance amongst the whole school community. They should offer healthy food choices for students through the canteen and should also be mindful of not judging food as good or bad but promoting good nutrition. It's important for schools to work with families at two levels. Firstly, consistency around messaging of positive body image and eating habits. Secondly, if a child does have an issue and is receiving external help, it's important for the school to know about it to be able to provide appropriate support for the family and the child. We know that when there's clear and open communication between families and teachers, there are better outcomes for students, both emotionally and academically. When children develop a positive body image, this supports their physical and mental health and leads to healthier practices with food and exercise. A whole school approach to promoting children's mental health helps children to value who they are and feel good about themselves.